Axolotls are one of the newest and most popular mobs in Minecraft. They're unique, helpful, and just downright cute. But how do they compare to their real-life counterparts? I'm Jeremy, and today we're going to take a deep dive and find out. Here are 10 differences between Minecraft and real-life axolotls. Number 1. Colors In Minecraft, axolotls come in five different color varieties. Leucistic, Wild, Gold, and Cyan are the common varieties, and Blue is the rare variety. Encountering a blue axolotl in the wild in Minecraft is extremely rare. Even if you spawn axolotls, only 1 in 1000 will be this rare blue color. When breeding axolotls, there is a 1 in 1200 chance that the offspring will have a blue mutation, and a 1199 out of 1200 chance that the offspring will match the color of one of the parents. So unless one of the parents is blue, good luck breeding blue axolotls. In real life, axolotl color variations are called morphs, and there are more than five varieties. The most popular are the wild type, leucistic, melanoid, albino, golden albino, and copper. There is no blue or cyan axolotl, but there is a morph called lavender that has a grayish purple color and light gray speckles. Some other less common morphs include speckled axolotls, which are leucistics with dark speckles on their face, and piebald axolotls, which are leucistics with patches of localized melanin. It's also possible for two different morphs to be represented on the same axolotl due to a developmental anomaly that occurs when two eggs of different morph axolotls fuse together. This creates mosaic axolotls, where it looks like one morph is spattered all over the other, and it also creates chimera axolotls, which are split down the middle, showing one morph on the left side and another morph on the right. And then there's GFP, which stands for Green Fluorescent Protein. This protein is present in several different morphs, and it causes axolotls with this protein to glow green under UV or blacklight. Number 2. Breeding In Minecraft, two axolotls in close proximity to each other will breed when they are both fed tropical fish. This will produce one offspring, and its color will match the color of one of the two parents, unless the RNG gods just happen to look down on you favorably and gift you the rare blue mutation. You don't have to do anything special to breed axolotls in Minecraft, just feed tropical fish to the two axolotls you wish to breed, and you get a baby! They give live birth to a single child, they breed either in water or on land, and there is no such thing as male and female axolotls in Minecraft, so you can keep all of your axolotls together, and they'll only breed when you feed them. In real life, axolotl breeding is a lot more complicated. If you keep male and female axolotls together, the male will constantly breed with the female, and this will stress the female over time and shorten her lifespan. So it's recommended to not keep males and females together long term, and to only put them together when you intend to breed them. The water in the breeding tank should also be slightly colder than their normal tank, as this will cause the female to become gravid and ready to breed. When she starts laying eggs, the male should be removed, and the female will then proceed to lay hundreds of eggs, sometimes up to 1500 eggs. The eggs will hatch over the course of the next several days, and the babies will be of several different morphs, not just the morphs of the two parents, because axolotls carry recessive genes from previous generations. Number 3. Environments Axolotls in Minecraft spawn in small bodies of water in underground caves, but they can survive in any body of water, including ponds, lakes, rivers, oceans, and aquariums. They can even survive out of water for up to 5 minutes, and as I mentioned earlier, they will even breed outside of water if fed. If they are out of water and it's raining, that counts as being in water, so as long as it's raining, they can stay out of water until the rain stops. When they are out of water, axolotls will slowly walk towards the nearest body of water and then jump in. Real axolotls come from one lake in Mexico called Lake Xochimilco. Originally, Lake Xochimilco was one of five interconnected lakes in the Valley of Mexico, but as Mexico City and the surrounding area was developed for human settlement, the lakes were drained to reduce flooding. The other four lakes no longer exist at all, and all that remains today of Lake Xochimilco is a series of canals. Axolotls are fully aquatic and spend 100% of their life underwater. They should not be kept on land, 
not even for short amounts of time, and rain is not a substitute for living underwater. They are also a freshwater creature and cannot survive in the salt water of the ocean. In captivity, they can be kept in ponds or aquariums and require hard water with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Number four, abundance. Right now, it's not very difficult to find an axolotl in Minecraft. When the second half of the Caves and Cliffs update is released later this year though, they will only spawn in lush cave biomes. But as of right now, cave biomes don't really exist yet, so they can spawn in bodies of water in any deep cave. They've even been spotted in the ocean. In reality, wild axolotls are critically endangered due to habitat loss. Lake Xochimilco is a polluted ruin of what it once was, full of party boats and trash. And wild axolotl populations have suffered greatly, to the point where finding them in the wild is extremely rare. Conservation efforts are underway, but with their native habitat being decimated, there is only so much that can be done. Thankfully, axolotls are abundant and thriving in captivity, including in laboratories and in the pet and aquarium trade. This is due to a combination of how well they do in aquariums and how many viable eggs they lay when they breed. Number five, diet. Minecraft axolotls eat tropical fish. If you have multiple axolotls together in Minecraft and you feed them, they will breed. Feeding a baby axolotl will accelerate its growth, with each bucket reducing the remaining grow time by 10%. You do not need to feed your axolotls to keep them alive, however, holding tropical fish will cause axolotls in the nearby vicinity to follow you around. Real axolotls should primarily be fed a diet of worms, with adults eating nightcrawlers or other large earthworms. They will also eat blackworms, bloodworms, and red wigglers. They will eat small fish if offered, including minnows and guppies, but this is not considered to be the best food source for them, as live fish are known to pick at an axolotl's gills, and they may also carry parasites. Adult axolotls should eat three to four times a week, whereas juveniles should eat every day, and babies should have access to food at all times. Feeding your axolotls won't make them breed, and it won't accelerate their growth rate, however they do need to eat in order to stay alive. Number six, sociability. As I mentioned, if you hold tropical fish, Minecraft axolotls in the immediate vicinity will follow you around for your underwater adventures. You can also put an axolotl on a lead or in a boat. They will be very sociable with each other, and if you're holding tropical fish, they will also be sociable with you. However, if you're not holding tropical fish, they will pretty much ignore you. Axolotls in real life are actually somewhat similar here, but still different. They can be quite social with each other if kept together, and when their keeper is nearby, they will definitely notice and follow the keeper around. However, they'll do this whether there's food or not. When you have food, axolotls will definitely notice and will take great interest. However, even if there is no food, axolotls will still watch you and be quite sociable with you. Number seven, aggression. All aquatic mobs except for dolphins, turtles, and other axolotls will be attacked by a Minecraft axolotl. Players will also not be attacked. Axolotls will attack all other aquatic mobs, including peaceful mobs such as fish and squids, and hostile mobs like guardians and drown. They will even cause pufferfish to inflate, unlike other aquatic mobs. They prioritize attacking hostile mobs over attacking peaceful mobs. This makes them especially useful when the player is exploring underwater, and many players will hold a tropical fish in their offhand and lead an army of axolotls while they pillage ocean monuments, because the axolotls will help protect the player by fighting the hostile mobs in the immediate vicinity. Minecraft axolotls also don't eat the mobs that they kill, even the tropical fish, allowing the player to collect the dead fish and the other loot instead. In reality, axolotls are more of an opportunistic hunter. They do not participate in combat, but instead they sit and wait, and will only eat fish or worms by vacuum sucking them into their mouth when they get too close. They shouldn't be housed with fish or other animals due to risk of injury to the axolotl or risk of the axolotl eating the fish. 
they will not aid you in combat, and you can't go swimming with them to explore underwater temples. Number 8. Regeneration In Minecraft, if an axolotl takes damage, there is a 1 in 3 chance they will play dead for 10 seconds, during which time they will use Regeneration 1 to recover. Or if the axolotl's health is less than 50% of its maximum health and it takes damage, it will play dead and use Regeneration 1. Hostile mobs will not attack an axolotl that is playing dead. While they're regenerating, you can see swirls around the axolotl indicating that they're regenerating. Real axolotls heal much slower, taking several weeks and sometimes months to regenerate. However, they can regenerate entire limbs if amputated. Sometimes axolotls will lose a leg, or a gill, or part of their tail, but it will grow back over the course of several weeks. Real axolotls also don't play dead, but they can't close their eyes because they don't have eyelids, so when they sleep, it can look like they're playing dead. Number 9. Growth Minecraft axolotls experience two life stages, baby and adult. The baby stage lasts 20 minutes from the time they are born at which time they become a fully mature adult. Growth can be accelerated by feeding tropical fish to a baby axolotl. Each time a baby axolotl is fed tropical fish, their remaining grow time is reduced by 10%. Real axolotls experience several life stages, starting with the egg. They develop inside the egg, starting as a little ball, and then they become bean-shaped within a few days, and then a few days later they develop gills, a head, and a tail. The eggs start to hatch at this stage, and baby axolotls emerge with yolk sacs attached, which they absorb over the next 24 to 48 hours. Then they will develop front legs, and then back legs around the time they reach 2 or 3 inches long. They are considered a juvenile axolotl until they reach 5 inches long, and then a subadult until they reach 8 inches, at which time they are considered an adult. Adult axolotls grow to a maximum length between 9 and 18 inches. And in some extremely rare cases, axolotls may develop into land-dwelling salamanders. Number 10. Movement In Minecraft, axolotls spend a lot of their time swimming, and they can move pretty fast, darting across the water. In shallow water, though, and confined spaces, they move a little slower, and it's common to see them hug the corners or the walls of that confined space. When they come onto land, they move really slow, and unless the player is holding tropical fish or has them on a lead or in a boat, they will be moving towards the nearest body of water. Real axolotls can swim, and sometimes they do, but most of the time that is not what they are doing. They're usually on the floor of the tank, and they tend to walk more than swim. They like to hide inside of dark caves and underneath plants, and they spend a lot of their time just sitting still. They also sometimes float, especially in tanks that have a bubbler of some sort, such as an air stone or a sponge filter. Well there you have it, this was my list of 10 differences between Minecraft and real life axolotls. If you're interested in keeping pet axolotls, check out my complete axolotl care guide, linked in the iCard above, and the video description below. If you'd like to help conservation efforts, check out amphibianart.com, a nonprofit that is working to sustain wild axolotl populations and help fight the amphibian crisis. I hope you enjoyed this list, and if you did, make sure you give this video a big like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can also follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I also have a community Discord server and a community Minecraft server. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.